And welcome back here on the wow. program on a uh, Tuesday morning Tuesday. edition. Dan Totten, Lucas Bailey, the law firm Dan C. Totten, Jefferson Street. First and foremost, we'll talk about gay marriage. Did you ever think that would happen in the state of Alabama? I, I'll just be honest with you. I really never thought about it one way or the other. Good answer, but wrong. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a different generation, so it's a, you know, in our law school, they, you know, look back what you were talking about earlier in the interracial marriage, and at one time that generation never thought that would happen, and where it's going. I remember having a law professor that said in our lifetime, um, and here I am just four years into my career, and we're already seen it. So. Now, yeah, we, we, we were sort of in it. Let's just jump ahead to something we were talking about earlier. You're saying that the DUI laws will change here, and you had told us that before. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's okay to say this the legalization of marijuana may be the next thing we see. I don't think there's any question about it. The government's figured out how to make money off of it, it'll be legalized and it won't be long. Okay. And you think when you get stopped, they'll be able to issue blood tests now because of that? Well, it, that's coming. Okay. It's already the law and has been the law in Tennessee for quite some time, and it's coming here because of marijuana and drugs. Uh, the the, like the Drager uh, alcohol machine doesn't, doesn't test those, right. and they're going to have to use blood to, to discover. Oh. Gotcha. I guess Phil Price be coming out with a new book. Hmm. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Phil told me the other day that he was getting... Uh, ready to turn it over to George. It just made me sick, because oh. I'm the same age he is. <laughs> I ain't ready to turn it over to anybody. Yeah, Phil, he handled my first divorce, and I'd taken his device, and I'd be better off today. <laughs> but I didn't, like most people, don't take it. We'll talk about divorce in just a second. Uh, Clarence Thomas on the U.S. Supreme Court. You brought up a good point yesterday, Dan, when I met with you guys. He said, basically, we're jumping ahead of this right here. Is that the way you understood that? What did you say? Yeah, what he said is this, and he echoed what Roy, Judge Moore said. The decision that the judge, federal judge entered about gay marriage in Alabama was a district court, a trial court decision, which is not normally binding on anybody but the parties to that particular suit. But the, they've fallen in the habit on this gay marriage issue of ignoring that fact. And even though the issue is pending right now in front of the Supreme Court, this, uh, the actions taken by that judge and have uh, really made the, it's going to be anticlimactic when the Supreme Court rules because it's already here. It's a fact. Can they over? Would I know the chances may be slim, but they if can. they chose to under, overturn that, all these marriages that took place yesterday would be null and void. Yes, mm -hmm. you can put toothpaste back in the tube, but it's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see that happening. No, you don't either. No, no but. No. The other thing is, these you know, people... You I asked Dan, I was like, you know, you, all, you think, okay, now gay marriages, you always hear people say, well, next you'll be able to marry your dog or your sister or your cousin. And you say you pretty sure that's pretty good. You marry your cousin now, can't it. you? I would think is that against the law? No, it's against the law in Alabama, yes. <laughs> I hope so. First cousin, second cousin, or what? I forget the degree, uh, but... Uh, really? If it's a cousin, stay away from her. Frank wanted to know. <laughs> Stop. I, I think it's different on Sand Mountain. That's Pete. <laughs> Yeah, that's Pete about Sam Mountain. All right, let's talk about cousins. Okay. All right, divorce. No, there there may be hundreds of people gay get married in the state of Alabama. All these people ain't gonna stay together. They're gonna be just like the rest of us. Somebody said the other day one of the comments it said, "Let them get married and suffer like the rest of us." Exactly. People don't understand. Marriage is not about morality. Marriage is a legal institution, which gives rise to divorce which is a legal institution. The same people that are disparaging Roy Moore, Judge Moore, about uh, his ruling are gonna have to go in front of the J Roy Moores of this world to get their divorce law interpreted. All the same rules. Absolutely. So the their same. divorce will not be any different than no. won't be any different anybody's than, divorce. That's exactly right. You just have... And Alabama's a common law state, which means that uh, marriage, you can have a common law marriage in Alabama. You don't have to go through a ceremony. Is there a certain time limit for that? No. If you're living together for the, X amount? The, the requisite, uh, uh, the requirements for a common law marriage is cohabitation mm -hmm. of any length of time, oh. consummation, which is... Okay, happening. Yes. Doing it. 
and a present intention to be married. It looks to me like you're going to have people that have been in a long-term relationship and considered themselves married and unable to go through a ceremony that are already married under the common law now after this decision oh. has come out. And uh, You're talking about gay people have been living together right. are now going to be considered married. Some lawyer is going, and their client is going to bring that up. And I think it's going to fly. That's a point I haven't thought about. Common law, it works for men and women, now, so why not? You guys handle any kind of divorce. That's right. Gay, straight, whatever. Never handled one yet, but we will. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure. If people are thinking about separating, what steps do you recommend they go through first? Especially with the law firm of Dan C. Tot. Well, if I was going to separate or get a divorce, I'd go see a lawyer. Now, it, I don't mean to determine whether or not you should. That's the job of you and your family, your marriage counselor, your preacher, whatever. But if you want to take the legal steps correctly to get a divorce or a legal separation, you need to see a lawyer. And then you go from there. That's right. So they just make an appointment to come in to see you, and you advise them on what you or Lucas advise them on. Now, most people know your law firm as a criminal defense law firm, and Lucas does that extremely well, and you do too. So, but you've done divorces forever. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that a headache just waiting to happen? Well, it is. But uh, if you're in Athens, Alabama, and you're in a small town, you're going to have to do some of everything. Yeah. Lawsuits, probate, criminal cases, whatever. You got to do it all. Yeah, so they just make an appointment to come and see you. Anything else you want to make uh, reference to about uh, the gay marriage deal? Uh, we pretty much covered that. Much of everybody's sick of hearing it. Well, I wish people would start looking at it for what it is. It's here. We don't have to wait. It's here. Accept and, it. And the the well, ramifications of it. Is the right uh, word. You know, people are going to quit coming on TV and, and laughing about it and holding hands and being and having fun. They're going to realize that it is a legal relationship and it has consequences. Can businesses nowadays, I'm sure that you tell me, if somebody wants a, you to pr provide them a service and, and if it goes against their Christian values, they can be sued. That's right. From like a, a florist. Uh, photographer. Anyone like that. You know, I, you, you are uh, now ordained to do marriages. I'm thinking about suing you if you refuse to do any. Can you do that? Well, we'll see, won't we? You can sue someone for anything. How about that? Yes, I am an ordained minister now. I am ordained, as Mr. Totten just said, to do weddings. So uh, he's doing a young lady's wedding yeah, to her. So far, I've got one lined up, but it's a heterosexual deal coming that's up right. on the first. Now, if, now really, that's, that's a good point you brought up, though. If I refuse to do that, they couldn't sue me, though, could they? Well, they I mean, can sue you. I don't know whether they can win. Win, win, yeah. Lucas. Got any comments to make about anything this morning? Better not. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I, well, I think the important thing that Dan's trying to say, if I'm hearing him right, is there's a process, and that's what Judge Moore is trying to say. He issued an order <clears throat> that, in our opinion, was very well reasoned under the law about the process of making, you know, the determination whether or not this is constitutional. And it seems like uh, there was some activist groups that sort of jump the gun and yeah. was trying to throw some cold water on it saying, hey, hold up, you know. Um, and, that, and for some reason it was taken the wrong way. Y'all have any questions? Call, talk to either one of these guys down at Dan C. Titan Law Firm on Hi. Jefferson Street, Athens, Alabama. I got to share this video with y'all. I saw it on 48 this morning. I saw it on my daily mail. A train in Canada is barreling down. That's right. You're about to see this video. It's really remarkable. Great. It's coming yeah. down and the snow is all over the track. Let's take a break, but for that, let's go to this video, and y'all see this. We'll be right back. Cool. Hang on.
I've been so poor all of my life, everybody knows it's true. You couldn't count all the holes that I've had in my shoes. These old rags I'm wearing are getting mighty old. The devil can have them back, but he can't have my soul. And I'm gonna go from rags to riches when I walk to the pearly gate. I done made my reservation. Well, you can go from rags to riches, but I tell you what you got to do. You gotta give your heart to Jesus and let him take care of you. You can go from rags to riches and a twinkling of an eye and live with him forever in glory by and by. And I'm gonna go from rags to riches and I walk to the pretty gate. I done made my reservation. Walk.